Boys are friends, and welcome back to the Banter Show. And we're at the Gateway Club in Kilmurray Street, Newry, and we're down to have a Banter Show about a project called A Bite and Banter for Christmas. And we're going to talk to Tommy Jones and the lovely Elaine Cole inside the club here, friends. Let's go. Raise our friends, we're in the Gateway Club, and just before we have the Banter with Tommy and Elaine, we're just going to do a few shout outs because I haven't been doing my shout outs recently. Um, at Corrine Cohen, at Matthew T. Metzler, at Elise Quavero, my good friend Elise, keep on tweeting there, at the Kevin Leslie, um, at Marker Marker. Oh, and don't forget, friends, tune in or have a look at www.bantershow.com and get us all there. And a special shout out to our friends in Perth and Australia. We've got Ollie Towie and his beautiful lady, Deborah Lyons. So, Ollie, thanks for tuning into the Banter Show. There's our shout out. And a big shout out to all the followers and everybody, thanks for sharing the videos on, uh, on, on all social media platforms. So, from me at the Banta Show, friends, Razor. Razor, friends, we're now inside the Gateway Club and we're joined with Tommy Jones, good old friend of mine, and a previous Banta man. He had, he had the Banta with me before. Yeah, that was great, great, Tony. And the lovely Elaine Cole. Elaine, thanks for coming down. Today. Thanks for coming to talk to us. Absolutely no bother. Sure, I'm an old supporter of a Baiton Banter. You are, Tony. You were in last year, too. Was, uh, yeah, and I'll be back yeah. round this, you know, because I, I live locally, and if you can't come round and meet people for Christmas Day for an hour or two, out of your own time, come around and have a bit of crack. Basically, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Surely have that's a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's what's about. You know? Yeah, don't there's no alcohol, it. friends. There's no alcohol. No, 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 no. That's to help you. Like, we don't have yeah. a drink for you. Right. Well, I, I can sort myself out. <laughs> we'll do that anyway. <laughs> Tommy, can you explain to us just a little bit about the bite and bonder for Christmas? Well, originally, then, uh, I spoke to Elaine about it. Uh, a friend of mine had told me about uh, a concept that was being done and uh, though it was being done in a, in a pub, they were going to do a, a, a dinner for anybody who turned up, it was going to be free. Um, we did discuss how we were going to get around that. We didn't want to have it in a pub. It was very hard to get a pub here on Christmas morning. So um, Elaine asked the Gateway, because she's a member of the Gateway, could we borrow the hall? And originally we sat and we thought, over seven of us, if we got two dinners apiece, We'd have 14 dinners, and if 14 people turned up for the dinner, then that would be, that'd be it. We'd have done our bit. But uh, it kind of snowballed, didn't it? Yeah, we put it, well, as soon as we put it on Facebook, then it sort of went viral and uh, couldn't get over the response from the community. You know, people were coming down with turkeys, hams, you name it, they were coming down with it. Now, a lot of the stuff that we didn't use here on the day was distributed into the community. Uh, afterwards, there's people going around nearly at ten o'clock Christmas night giving out food. Wow! And I, because I went, I went past here later, about maybe nine o'clock that night, and this club was still open, friends. Oh yeah, uh, we were still here. Originally, still well, there. originally it was going to be just for a few hours. We were going to do it. You know, we won't. Ex- we didn't know how many was actually going to turn up. Uh, originally, we did say if even if one person turned up and had dinner, you know, would have would have done our bit. Yeah. But uh, it wasn't like that, and with all the, the, the great people in Uri, like the stuff they were giving us was just unreal, wasn't it? And, yeah, and the yeah. steady flow of, of the dinners coming in where people would donate a dinner. Because after all, the concept was, if you were having your Christmas dinner, everybody overcooks and there's always plenty to eat, do an extra dinner up, take it down to us, we would distribute it to the people who come, you know, who were sitting at home, otherwise at home, on their own. Well, that's, that's probably, that's the point about the bite and banter too, Elaine, isn't it? Yeah, the point about the bite and banter, it's not about how rich somebody is or how poor they are or what their family circumstances are. Nobody judges anybody and we just welcome anybody to come down here that they're feeling lonely on a Christmas day because any other time of the year you can go down to the bus, go get a bus somewhere, go to the cinema, go to the shopping centre, but on a Christmas day there's absolutely nowhere open and this is a place to come. We have entertainment, we have crack, we have tea and coffee, loads of friends, loads of chat so it's a place to come if you're feeling lonely in the house just come on down nobody's going to ask you any questions just come in feel welcome and uh, it doesn't cost a penny and if you can't get down if you've no way down if you live outside in your area, just give a call with posters everywhere there's number four numbers on it give one of those numbers a call and we'll arrange to pick you up and leave you home that's fantastic friends i think this is great and as i say tommy i'll be around i'll come around to get you know for a oh, bit yeah. of banter last oh, yeah. year um i think tommy stole my old name my name there the banter only no. joking you bro <laughs> only, only joking no but it's all good oh, it um, people did come down for a banter didn't they 
oh, oh yeah, there was people come down. They, they weren't coming down for the dinner, but it, it, it wasn't all just about the dinner. It wasn't just about coming down. It was about being together with people who, you know, instead of you sitting in the house and looking at the four walls or watching the TV, especially on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is a very hard day for some people. And that's what we wanted. We wanted people to come down. Didn't have to come down for the dinner. Come down for a cup of tea and a chat and a bit of crack. There was good music. We'd even got Santa Claus. Yes. You know, and it was a great atmosphere and it was good crack. There, you, you couldn't ask for better than that, friends. Elaine, tell me about about the wide circle now of of people who are coming for for the bait and bander for Christmas. Now, it, it's not exclusively just for Newry people. No, no, no. We've already made arrangements to pick up people in Newcastle. Bambridge, as far as Mike, you know, so, and we depend on volunteers. That's why we need volunteers to help us out on the day because, of course, myself and Tommy and the few others that's involved, we can't run all those places, so we do depend on volunteers. And, and Margaret has been great with the volunteer line, and there's loads of people volunteering, sending us private messages on Facebook and everything, you know. So hopefully, if there's a volunteer coming from Bambridge, that they can take uh, that person up for the day, for the afternoon, you know. Just for the company. It's just for company. It's not yeah. for food. It's just for the company. It's, just, it's only for that one day. The one day in the whole year. Don't be on your own friends at Christmas. Come down here. Come down. This is what the bait and banter is all about. It's good crack. It's actually good crack. It is good crack. And then you're getting to meet new people. I met a load of new people here last night. And not only that, the food is fantastic. You'll not get better food than home cooked food than here. On Christmas Day. Well, you're right. Tommy, the way <laughs> we were brought up, we love our home-cooked yeah. oh, food, yeah. and we love only the best of good food. We don't, eat, we don't eat oil crap, do we? No, you're going to get it here. Look at, look at us two boys. We're finally honed. Yeah. Show the guns yeah. there, bro. Check out them guns. Show, show the guns. Check out them geese. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm embarrassed now. But it's, it, 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 all, in all seriousness, we're just having a bit of crack here, a bit of banter, yeah. and this is the way the Christmas Day rolls, really. And yeah. Yeah. there's all people of, of different... Even nationalities, different religions, and it doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't matter no. to any of us. Well, we're we're not a we're not a uh, we're not affiliated to any group. We're not a charity. You know, we're just a few people in the community who've got together and said or says, "Look, hold on, we can do this here." And the greater community in Newry is helping the community of Newry. And who else better than the people of Newry? That's that you've heard it here, friends. That's, this is what the bait and banter is all about, isn't it? Yeah. And as I say, there's no alcohol, so don't be fooling yourself thinking, "Oh, I'm going to get in there and get a few drinks." It's not happening. Tea, coffee, a good Christmas dinner—it's all here. Yep, desserts, soups, anything you want—it's here. Yeah. And the crack—it's the crack that we're trying to get across. It's the company. It's it's come down and just spend time down here, and the volunteers—it it gives them a great sense of satisfaction as well just to be giving up there a few hours on Christmas Day and well done to all our volunteers even last year I couldn't get over the response from the volunteers as well brilliant brilliant fantastic so all the volunteers you're all welcome back again not right definitely absolutely definitely. oh yeah we want yeah. them all back yeah. you're going to need them you're going to need them really aren't you and, and everybody was busy everybody had a role to play and it went smooth the whole day I suppose we're more organised this year last year we didn't know what to expect but just this was an idea as the same we only had a week we were starting off we were starting off like our 14 dinners you know we didn't know what we are going to do um, but this year we're more organised we know what we want we know what we need and what we'd have left over, we know where it's going as well, so... Brilliant. Brilliant. Well, I really, I have to commend these two friends of mine. They're, they're great people. Um, me and this man go back a long time, don't we? Oh, we do. We're you know, too long back, aren't uh, we? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're two, we're great haircuts, oh, well, mate. You know what you are crackers are? Than me. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as old as you stay, so I would know. <laughs> Thanks. Me and, me and Tommy... Tell me, are you looking forward to your 40th birthday? I am actually, yeah, in April, yeah. That's a score, yeah, that's a score, yeah, yeah, All right, so we'll sort that out after. Right, well, so tell me, that just, just to make it clear for, for um, the Banta Show and our friends is to tune in, there'll be no cameras, it's not a day to publicise, yeah. we're keeping this day private. Oh, absolutely. We, we're not going to be standing here with cameras taking photographs of people coming in. We're not going to have anybody from the local papers. We said that last year, we weren't going to do that. Um, we're going to going to continue with that yes. we don't want it's not about publicity we're not looking for publicity we're not interested in that all we want to do is have a good day have people here to enjoy themselves who always would be on their own christmas and that's what we want and that's why we ask people at this doing the donations to come at a certain time and then the people that want to come down and spend time here and it's, it's, it's so people aren't coming down and nosy in to see who's here 
and that's the reason why we, we split those times so that when people come down at three o'clock they, they can be comfortable in the fact that there's nobody coming in to, to be looking to see who's there in the hall or anything like that because it's totally private. Totally well, that's the way to keep it, it's nice and private, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it is. So it's private, but it's, it's, it's private, but it's public. Yes, yeah, it's and, and, private, and it's just for Christmas Day. Yes. I'm going to say it's, yeah. for, it's, it's for everybody, young, old, doesn't matter what walk of life you come from, if you feel that you're going to be lonely on Christmas Day, this is the place to be. All joking aside, listen friends, it's been lovely talking to Tommy Jones and the lovely Elaine Cole. I really commend you on what they're doing for a bait and bonder for Christmas. And I'll be around here for the throwing a bit of banter in, a bit of crack. Yeah. Thanks, you know. Tony, thanks for and by the way, make me a nice cup of coffee again, will you? I'll get you a wee bit of pad over, maybe. A wee bit of cheesecake. Ooh. I'll be around here at half twelve. Friends, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. Listen, thanks for Elaine. Pleasure to have you in the Banter Show. You too. Thanks. Tommy, as a pleasure as always, brother. You know it. Well, friends, that's us. Me, Tommy and Elaine. That's us. We're done here in the Gateway Club. We'll be round here on Christmas Day. What time again, Tommy? Uh, from 2 o'clock onwards, we'll be here. Well, we're asking we'll people to donate from about half, between half one and half two, and then anybody who wants to come down for the crack, sort of from three to six. Right. There you go. Can't say no more. Now, will you, will you join me in giving our viewers a bit of a riser? Oh, One, two, three. For me, Tommy and Elaine, riser! We're out of here, friends. <laughs>